Once two friends were walking through the forest. They knew that anything dangerous can happen to them at any time. So they promised each other that they would remain united in any case of danger. Suddenly, they saw a large bear approaching them. One of the friends at once climbed a nearby tree, but the other one did not know how to climb. So being led by his common sense, he lay down in the ground breathless, pretending to be dead. The bear came near the friend lying on the ground. It smelt in his ears and then slowly left the place, because bears do not touch the dead. Now the friend on the tree came down and asked his friend on the ground, Friend, what did the bear say to you? The other friend replied, The bear advised me not to believe a false friend. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. Paul, did you know that you can use a crisp packet as a calendar? I'm sorry, what? I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, it's easy. Look, I have got three packets of crisps here. I've got um, a Sainsbury's one. I've got a Tato from Northern Ireland. And I've got an Essential Waitrose. And if you look at the dates on the back, well, the Waitrose one says the 20th of August, as does the Tato one. And the Sainsbury's one says the 13th of August. Now, I can tell you for definite that the 13th of August and the 20th of August are Saturdays. How do you know that? Well, if you're at home, go and look at a packet of crisps right now, because if you're in the UK, any packet of crisps that you have will have an expiry date, which is a Saturday. It doesn't matter what make it is, and it doesn't matter when you bought them. And I'll tell you why. I've got a statement from Walkers, which is Britain's biggest crisp company. Now, it's from a few years ago, but the statement is still true. A spokesman for Walkers explains that in the manufacturing sites, we work on production weeks, which start on a Sunday. All products produced in that week will have the same best before date. As the week ends on a Saturday, the best before date will always end on a Saturday. So it's as simple as that. And just to prove that they are Saturdays, I think we ought to take a look at the calendar. So here we have it, August, and Saturdays, the 13th and the 20th. Ah. So if you haven't got one of these, but you have got one of these, you can always work out the date. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, I'm subscribing to our show. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do subscribe. <laughs> Welcome to Stockley Park. It is one of the biggest business parks in West London. Now, Paul, tell me, what companies are based here? Just a few of them. There's Apple, there's Ribena Suntory, and I think there is also Canon, and it is also home to some television studios. And if you watch the tennis coverage on Amazon Prime, well, if you see Tim Henman, Greg Rozeski in the studio, it's coming from here. And I also remember that one year for the Eurovision Song Contest, uh, Scott Mills presented coverage of the results from here as well, I believe. And the great thing about Stockley Park is it's not just the big buildings, 
but also there's a little area for eating and you can also take a look at the wildlife. There are ducks and geese, other birds, probably some animals that you <laughs> that you wouldn't expect or that they wouldn't expect to have been here when it was designed. Maybe they only come out at night. Mm. But on a lovely sunny day like this, I think it's time to go and have a look at the birds and the ducks and the geese. Hello, ducky. That's okay. Oh, look at the lovely babies. Look, Marcus, there are some baby geese over there. Oh, they are so fluffy. Now, I don't think we want to get too close because one of the parents looks as though they are guarding very closely. So I think it's probably better that we zoom in rather than walk up too close to them. What do you think? Oh, look, most of them are all huddled together, but one of them looks as though they're a bit of a loner. somewhere like this and I'm about to walk along a little sort of trail between the hedge and the the lake I suppose it is. Now, I've got to watch my step because there is also a bit of poo from the animals on the ground. <laughs> And of course, because it is a business centre, if you like, there are places to eat as well. There used to be a really good pub here. It's um, closed down now, but there's a Subway, there's a Costa, and there's a Greg's. So plenty of places to eat at lunchtime for all the workers. Or at the weekend, for the leisure visitors, that's us, and we are hungry. So we are gonna go in to Subway. Well, we've got points to use. We may as well use them, right? Well, it says that Stockley Park was built upon a tip that was used by Londoners who would load barges on the canal and come to tip the industrial and private waste from West London. Topsoil was added to the site to cover the waste and the modern offices were built on top. Since its inception in the early 1980s, through the planting stage when over 140,000 trees and shrubs were planted, Right up to the present day, Stockley Park has led the way as a leading business community. Stockley Park is one of Europe's most successful business parks and with its stunning architecture and beautiful surrounds of lakes and landscape areas, it is easy to see why. All of the buildings on the park have been designed to relate to their unique setting so that they are part of the landscape rather than being imposed upon it.